Hey there, folks, and welcome back to Inscription. I just found out today that this version of the game called Casey's Mod has been put into the beta branch on Inscription, and I was so hyped for what we're dealing with here that I wanted to get a recording out pretty much right away. So in case you haven't seen the blog post or you haven't heard anything about it, especially if you haven't seen my one video on this at this point, Casey's mod is essentially the roguelike deck builder variant of Inscription. So fair warning, if you've never played this game before, it is a little bit spoilery. There are elements of the first act, the first chapter, quote unquote, of the game that will be revealed as part of just the regular gameplay here. So if you're turned off by that, maybe try the game yourself. If you're interested in the roguelike deck builder elements like I am, or you've played the game before, then rock on. This is really going to be excellent. Uh, it is in a beta test, like I said, so some things may be broken or not fully implemented, but we're going to do a first run together. I do want to at least notionally show off some of the options here. They do have stats for you that you can collect. Potentially, there may be more stats that show up eventually. We have victories, defeats, bosses defeated, cards drawn, biggest attack, most bones held, squirrels harmed, sacrifices made, pelts traded, teeth pulled, mantis gods picked, and misplays. I don't know if that's the whole list, but that's what's shown right now. Seems fun. Then we can go to the unlocks. There are the, you have the ability to unlock cards which I presume will happen over time just by playing the game. It seems like there's 10 of them if I'm looking right. It actually looks like 14 cards. So we'll see what the starting deck is. There is some lore that comes out of playing this mode as well in the devlogs, which is pretty cool. I obviously haven't gotten any of that. This is a first run for me of this variant. And then there is an ascension system similar to something like Slay the Spire or the covenant system in Monster Train in challenges right so 10 of them are locked for me right now four of them are unlocked you hold one fewer item twice so i could take these both twice and then we would get down to one item total you have no clover which means you cannot re-roll card choices and then you have you know more expensive pelts and things so a little trickier to get payouts for pelts and teeth and things all fair changes i think I don't want to say the base game is too easy, but the base game can get into a point where it's simple compared to more difficult deck builders like Slay the Spire or Mon Monster Train even. And that's okay because it's a narrative based game that's trying to actually move things forward and trying to get you to actually succeed right. It keeps adding simplifications and additional power gains, power creep essentially intentionally, so that you will not get stuck in the roguelike state if you're not a roguelike player. It's quite intelligently designed for the audience. But when you're playing a roguelike deck builder like this mode, you want it to just be difficult. You want a consistent and predictable difficulty. So yeah, we will give it a go. This is my first time through, so I have no idea what to expect. I know how the game works, though. You can see my intro to it. I have defeated it myself. I understand the cards and things, but I don't know how this mod works. So we're going to experience together, and I'm going to do a run here, and we will see how it goes. Uh, so I don't have much else to say here. If this goes well, if this is fun, I may very well make a series of this. I think that the roguelike deck builder elements of Inscription are pretty exceptional. I think that it plays extremely strategically and it's very satisfying and it's rewarding of strategy and planning. So I do have a run on the channel of the kind of the roguelike deck builder state that I envisioned for it back when I was playing through the game. So you can see that uh, I may have a link to it. Otherwise, you'll be able to find it pretty easily. It's very unique compared to everything else. And yeah, as always, though, do like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully this is excellent and we can make a series of it. Uh, but let's start the run. OK, so it looks like at this point we are moving the challenge level needle. Right. So I do not mind no rerolls. I think it's actually just fine. I also have no problems with two items. We are 10 of 10. 
Presumably this means I could increase my challenge level if I win. So... Yeah, it's exceeded. Does it do anything? No, it doesn't see... I don't know if that does anything. Okay, so we'll just stick with 10 of 10 for now. And I'm going to go click on the Start Run button. Interesting. It's kind of fun that you get the little floppy disk updates on the bottom. That's a nice little flourish. All right, let's start this. Okay, see what we get. Okay, my starting set is stoat and everything else. Let's see, my starting... All right, we have a squirrel on pliers, nothing too crazy. Interestingly, I can walk around the room. Let's see, I don't think anything is interactable here. It lets me do what I want, but... Right, okay, so I'm just kind of messing around to see if anything here does anything. It does not appear to. There's nothing interactable that would change the combats. Cool, there is the help manual. Okay, that's fun. I could try to unlock the safe or something, but I'm not going to bother with the puzzle elements. I was just curious if all that was turned off, and it seems to be. Okay, so my deck is pretty basic. I have two pelts. We don't have any of the default units that we had in the stories. We do have a stoat, though. It looks like they added a stoat card. Pretty good. Okay, fine. We'll advance then. See what we're shown. Trapper this early is a little interesting. Let's see. Yeah, we did get two rabbit pelts. Oh, interesting. So this is basically how we decide our starting cards. It's like a starting bonus. Right, so we have the leader's alpha, which is really good here. Moosebuck is a decent payout. Interesting. Very interesting start. I think I'm going to take alpha here. I do get one more pelt. Let's see. I don't think I want to play into bones right now. Mantis is pretty acceptable. Bullfrog is whatever. It's nice to have a payout card like the Moosebuck, though. Alternatively, we could take the hand counter dude. He just kind of hits really, really hard, but has low life. I'm going to take him, actually. It's a very high power start. I would think that I am pretty competent into the base game of... Yeah, into the base game of Inscription, but... I'm not particularly aware of the strategies here. So if we go of like the roguelike deck builder variant, so we'll see. I have full items, so going to the pack trader just gives me a pack rat, which I don't think I need right now. I'm gonna take the upgrade at this point from the bonfire. All right, we get plus two health here. Sure, all right, we'll take it, of course. The health probably belongs in this the card counter is let's it stick around a little longer. I can gamble on this. If I lose this, do I lose? I think I can take this. Ah, oh, it gets eaten. No, oh, fair enough. I actually think that's okay. It's it's a removal in that case, which is not terrible. I'll get another draft here. Okay, we're dealing with the... Oh, the Elk Fawn is a really difficult line here. Worth noting, the Alpha does require bones. I maybe should have considered the Bone King in response to that. It's potentially a mistake. We play the Stoat. Do I? Stoat is actually just worse than... Bullfrog? It's true. We'll take it. Let's see, it should move over and he's blocked. Cool, yeah. I will take a squirrel. This is a straightforward choice. I need the bullfrog to come in. We should clear the two elk here. Solid. 
Is he forfeit here? Is that his only set? It might be. Well, in that case, yeah, he sees the way this is going. All right, we're going to finish the slow way. I want to get the teeth out of this. So if I do two damage here, he goes to four, and then I can take a squirrel and play the wolf and overflow the floor. Yes, yeah, so we enter in here. I take a squirrel. We play the squirrel. I take the wolf in play now. And then I, oh, I'm still lacking a, the bones required. It's okay. We do a big overflow here of five. Good. The teeth are matter. The teeth matter for the pelt trader. Now, this is a minor tile, I believe. I don't remember. We don't see these very often. I think this is. What is the value here? I could check it out, but I really think the card draft is the correct choice. Yeah. Okay, so I think I will go to the card draft here. This, I think, gives pelts or something. I'll have to check it out at some point, but... Oh, interesting. Oh, I see the clover vanished in response to that, huh? Interesting. I think... The elk fawn is good here. I will take this. Yeah, cool. I don't mind no rerolls. That's a fine change. All right, we have one attack. I do not want to gamble with life here. So I do think it is Elk Fawn here. Yeah, I'm not going to. We take it back here. It's fine. I don't know the exact percentages on that. That will be something I want to learn. But for the moment, we're okay. We do get an elite combat here, which is potentially concerning. That is... Burrow on Elk. What do we have here? Squirrel in play with the Bullfrog. Let's see. I play here, and they're forced to come in and move across. It's fine. Yeah, all right. This is going to be potentially tricky. It should shift. Oh. Ah, it moves left to right first. It should be fine because they burrow. draw a card I like I want to play I think I need to play this squirrel or I lose this combat right I can always kill oh wait no they move to burrow on me yeah all right we actually kill this here right I think this is fine he transforms, hits me for two. I transform, I hit him for three. And then I need to... I have two bones here. I need to take the stoat and we chill on this. He hits me for two. I should kill here. Right. It looks scarier than I think it is. But we turn this around right here. Yeah, cool. All right. Squirrel down. We turn this around. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking the points here. Oh, he gets a raven egg in this one. Interesting. We'll just play the wolf and end this now. Cool. I can actually play the alpha. I might have been able to optimize that a little more then. Huh. That's a lot of overflow teeth, though. Really good. I missed one tooth. Interestingly, we actually have both lives here. I was expecting one of the lives to get taken as an option. I do have an altar coming up. What would I do? You could put pack leader into the elk, potentially. Getting it off of alpha is probably pretty good. Yeah, I think that is good. And I have a lot of teeth right now, so I get value out of the trapper. True. You get a free one of charge. I can get a golden pelt here. Good. And then that's what? Four remaining? 
So we take the wolf pelt here. Good. And we take these. Good pickups. Now I need to look ahead. Where is the lady? Don't know yet. I'd like to get a totem, but we'll have to go where the lady is. I want to derive value from this. I want the altar. I'm putting it into elk, and I am putting alpha into elk. Yeah. Oh, I guess I did it the other way around. Well, that's kind of a throw. Definitely not what I'd like to see. It's been a few months since I played this, so that hurts a lot, actually. I wanted to get rid of the bone requirement here, but it will, I suppose, have to do... Game. Okay, not great. I need the squirrel here. We sack here. I'm playing kill the egg. I want to get rid of it for sure. Good. It moves. I would like to... Eh, alpha. Shame. Can't just put the pelt in, I suppose, but it does block me a little bit, which is unfortunate. I can swing three here. It's not bad, actually. You play the pelt and swing three on this. Sure, actually. This takes the elk hit, which is fine. I draw a card. We take the stoat. Ah, uh, but I can't. Right. No sacrifices. We kill the egg. We move on. I think we win from this position. We do, actually. We super do. Seems good to me. Cool. We just raced it. It's fine. Good strategy. Take the two teeth. It's fine. All right. She is actually not here. And we actually have her as a boss, which is good because I have the extra pelts. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to go left. I want to see the totem. It's very strong. Man, I'm really annoyed about that elk thing, huh? I will take a one blood. Eh, river otter? I suppose I must take. It is what I am shown. I wanted something cheap, so... All right. I guess we get snake or deer, huh? What is my deck? I don't really have any synergies for any of these right now, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, we take this for sure. Oh, we only get one piece. It's probably fair. Those totems are really strong when they activate. Okay, fair enough. I should get a smoke out of this still. I do. Interestingly, that the trapper is the first boss here, and you can't look ahead to see. Very interesting, actually. And it's not it's not knowing the particular unit that you're going up against is very difficult. Huh. I need to kill these frogs and get pelts out of this, but I need to save resources for later is the trick to this combat. Right. So smoke is always coming down here. I want to sacrifice it. Putting the wolf out now and racing is a bad idea. I need to draw my pelts first. Or I need to hit the frogs first. So I need to save the wolf, I think. So I'm pretty sure it's just squirrel in. We take the otter. Smoke in. And we take the frog. And we accept this from this position. This blocks... 
take two. We will kill the frog and the frog. A rabbit comes in. That is new. He's playing a rabbit. Okay. I do need to draw damage here. All right. The pelt is good. Can I reasonably trade one more on this bullfrog? Are we okay with that? It's not bad, I suppose. I can delay. I would like to not send this pelt. It has a lot of value in this combat. And if I need to push the phase, I can with the wolf. We'll trade the one here. Cool. These two will sacrifice themselves into the trap. I need a... Where am I at? Minus three. I need to play one. I could always get the wolf out on Squirrel in a Bottle. I can take one more hit, right? I take a Squirrel here, and I simply do not play it. You could delay here, but there's no reason to. We only take the one because the traps bounce and the bullfrog deals one to me. All right, we're good. Otter's down. Get the pelt. Bullfrog's down. The rabbit doesn't hit, so I trade one. Right. And now we do squirrel. I play squirrel, squirrel. We send wolf in to push the phase here. We kill the frog. This buys me time. I can play alpha here, which is really strong. It will transform and it walks into the trap. Is that good? I want to slow burn this, actually. We'll take the three here. Uh, incoming bullfrog. I kind of anticipated that. I want to draw my other pelts, though, is the important play here. We always trade up on that bullfrog, so I will slow burn it still. I think it is correct. Take the three, swing it around to plus two. He will take one. This prevents me from winning on this turn, which is good because I see my wolf pelts. We should be able to take a lot here. I get another free round. I do want to draw something that procs this trap, but I maybe don't need to. We're okay, we swing it. All right, we're plus four, we're plus three now. I draw my last card. I get the stoat in play. Or no, I don't even play the stoat here. We just take this round. Yes, good. All right, so I think we're in good shape here. He's going to drop everything. Yep, but I have all of my pelts, friend. So I get a lot of value from you. All right, what are we looking at? Oh, interesting. The cards are significantly weaker, actually, because we only see... Yeah, how curious. The cards are much weaker because of the fact that it's Act 1. It's Chapter 1. Okay. So most of these cards are actually really bad. <laughs> kind of funny. I think I take the Raven Eggs because they're the strongest. They transform and they're really annoying to deal with. And I think I respect the Mirror Dude. So we take the egg and the egg. I can take the mantis here, right? I mean, it pushes, not really necessary. The ringworm is really bad. We may as well just trade up. So I'll take the kingfisher, the skunk, and the mantis here. And then I may as well take the mirror as well. Yeah, I mean, we demolish this round here, right? The wolf just 1v1s it. True enough. Play the raven egg here. And then we drop the alpha in between. And I'm pretty confident we win from this position, right? Just very easy. Yeah. 
We get Omega. We get a flying, swimming creature of destiny. How do I abuse this? We're doing four, six, nine here. The strongest play is actually just the Kingfisher, sadly. Sure. Or I guess the Mantis is fine, too. Okay, we win. Big swing. Alright, good. Great, we make it through Act 1. Nice. Moving along pretty well. Good pace here. 25 minutes for the first act. Cool. We'll see if it gets tougher. Right, a rare card. We still get a rare card, which is good. The DOS. Mole Man. Mantis God. We click Mantis God every time. We just take these. So with Act 3 coming first, what do we see? I'm not used to announcing this one. Have you tinkered with the order of my maps, Casey? Very well. The sleepy furs. Birds fluttered across the paths of wolves and elk. The woodlands. Okay, so the woodlands, what map we're in does tell us what boss we have, right? That is an important point. Yes. So in that case, we have we're fighting the miner here. If I go left, if we look at our map, I do see double totems, pretty strong. If I go forward though, I get the trader and I get big payout for my setup and I can put Mantis God into something up at this altar, but I do have to make it through an elite. But I feel pretty strong. We'll do this trade. I should see something powerful here. All right. I have a lot of really good pelts, friend. I think it's always cat here, right? It's just so strong for what I'm doing. Single floor sacrifices. We do have the opportunity to go ant build, which I like, but I think it is just cat. I love that here. Wolf pelt. Oof, this is nice. Wait a second, is this what I think it is? Oh, it's Dam Builder. I thought it was going to be Copier. Beehive Skunk. I can spawn bees. Interesting. Or I can make a flying bear. Interesting. Wolf Cub with... It's very, this is a very strange pick, actually. Worthy Sacrifice is nice. Worthy Sacrifice Mantis is pretty strong value. Can I look at my deck from this state? I can. I would like a three cost payout here. Genuinely. The bear is really strong. He has flying on him. Like This wolf is also really good. He transforms into a wolf and has some body chump blockers on him which are good skunk is free every time he takes a hit but he kind of op opposes getting hit right is the thing yeah because of the stinky bullfrog is bad turkey vulture is expensive in a wrong way bat unkillable it's not good not good here it's either mantis or grizzly Although Wolf Cub is nice, but I think it floods me a little too much, and I can't sacrifice these dams, so... I'm going to take the payout card, the Grizzly here. He flies and swings big. The Golden Pelt shows me a rare card. I think it is... And Mole Man is really good for defense, but I think it's Amalgam here, actually. Maybe. I don't know about a second Mantis God. I think I actually take the Mole Man. It is a really strong defender early on. Good pick. Yeah, I'll take it. That feels like a strong, strong gain. We get a Pack Rat guaranteed because I haven't spent anything. Yeah, we only get to carry two things, so I get Pack Rat. Sure, bud. Yeah, I'll take that. And we take the Elite. Okay. It is Burrow Deer. 
pronghorn with a mole. So one of the nice things is I can always do mole man turn one and hyper defend until I can play the grizzly. Like this pronghorn swings, but I have a lot of turns where I can kind of defend against it. I want to keep the mole left because it blocks his alpha. So I delay until I can play the grizzly. Yeah, we chill. Look at how strong the pronghorn is here. Now, he does walk in an elk fawn and a stoat. This is a difficult combat. I could clear the entire left side, potentially. The flying means he can't defend it. I wonder, can I use the mole to block a unit? Kind of interesting. This is a turn where I can pull out the Grizzly, and it's a big power swing. It's true, he only hits me once here. I'm going to play Grizzly. I think this is a very correct play. And then we Grizzly it up. And I play it. Where is the thought? I can, if I swing, I mean, this goes right to his health because he has no way of defending it. So, yeah, we, I think we just swing and win here, right? Like, he takes four. He retaliates for three, I think. And then we take it automatically. It's true. We take it automatically, as it were. And then I... Bullfrog here onto the elk fawn, and we win. Cool. Elite combat done. Look at that grizzly immediately paying out. Big value. We get a draft here. No clover, of course. The great white. Ooh, black goat is really good, especially with that grizzly. We take black goat here every time. Yeah, unbelievable. Okay, we can play a ton of stuff from this position. Now, remember, the unit that gets sacrificed is on the bottom. You know, I could make Black Goat into Cat, which is kind of disgusting, right? It's true. Keep in mind, I can't put anything else in that bear. So, Mantis God would not be very good into anything other than Wolf here, I think. I guess Pack Rat would be fine. I think I will put Cat into Black Goat. Does it matter the order here? They're both zero ones. I suppose not. It doesn't really matter. As long as it doesn't die... I wonder if I put Cat into Mole Man. The Mole Man dies and then just comes back whenever it gets sacrificed and defends. Interesting. That's also a really good choice. Black Goat into Cat is pays for everything. Everything, basically. Yeah, that's a really strong play. I can get my dude out, my dude out immediately. I think it is Black Goat as the target, and we put the cat in. I'm pretty confident that this is the play here. It gives the nine lives sigil, the many lives sigil, into the goat, which is the quintessential worthy sacrifice. This plays anything. Yeah, this, this plays anything. Okay. I would like to draft cards. Do I have any dupes, actually? No. Negative. Okay, fine. I will go left. I'd like to draft. Maybe see that fire. 
Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a ton of value from the mycologist. It would just give me a dupe here. Although getting a dupe on that grizzly would be pretty good, huh? It's true. It's true. I'm going to go left. I think it is correct. Now, I could go right, take the elite, and then take a three cost here. But my main problem is I don't want another pack rat. And we get another combat. Although, I guess you get an elite either way. You just get one later. I don't want the pack rat here. We'll go left. Cool. Okay. See, moving on. We have Mole Man, turn one. Very strong play. Yeah, truly, it is just a really strong opener. It delays until I can draw what I want. Yeah, you just Mole Man it up, pretty much. And then I draw cards until I'm happy, pretty much. Ooh, that's a little concerning, though, huh? Need to take the squirrel here. Right, so... How do, you, how do you set this up? If I put in the Mantis God middle to swing three times, it, it bounces off the mole is the problem. And then the mole ends up on the right side and this Elk Fawn kills Mantis God, which is very bad. I'd like to play Mantis God once these Elk are in. So what we do instead is I take Squirrel and then I take River Otter here and... I want to play it center here. Yes. And we let that sit. Okay, we take a little bit here, but I can now take squirrel. Right. And then I play mantis god in the pronghorns lane which kills the fawn and the elk yes and i sack the otter to kill the fawn on the left so we clear the board and trade one if I can do one damage on the frontier, I have no cards is the problem. Oh, but Alpha solves this issue, doesn't it? Because bones. Excellent. So one, two. Yeah, good. Cleans that up. Fawn comes in, hits once, but our Alpha becomes Omega now. And we win. Yeah, for sure. Good. All right, cool. I should be able to create an absolutely monstrous floor here. I can actually also play in a squirrel and make the squirrel hit. But we'll just do more damage, right? It's two this way. Good. It's a lot of teeth as well if I end up using them. Like, as a very large number. Good. Okay. Now, my ecologist I've established is not as strong as I'd like. I'll take the fire. It's guaranteed power. We can see a little further, actually. What do we have up here? Looks like drafts. Yeah, I'll take the right card, I think. Give me more choices. Adder. Another wolf is fine. Beehive. Wolf is fine, I think. It is probably the better take here. It opens up future mycologists. Yeah, I can afford it once I see my black goat of destiny, as it were. All right, plus two health. Okay. Plus two health. Probably goes in the goat. It's tempting to put this in Mole Man, but the problem is with Mole Man is that he's just life. The goat, this keeps the goat from dying, and the goat can then be a lot more sacrifices. So I'm pretty confident in this choice. Yeah. Three, great. Nope, we are taking him back. He is an important part of my strategy. Thank you very much. We move forward. All right. This is a movement bird sigil. A little concerning. Turn one alpha. This is going to be a really deadly combat. 
I am almost certainly taking a candle here. I mean, they're all birds. They just hit me for free, pretty much. Alright, how do we lean into this? I think I take the squirrel here. You could save your resources, but I pretty strongly think I am racing here. And I do have the... I do have the pack rat in hand. I want to trade even to buy time here. Alternatively, maybe I can race, but pretty unlikely, I think. Don't think so. Yeah, it moved left. So I think I kill this line, actually, with wolf, which is pretty good. We take the squirrel. I'm eating two here is my main issue. I'm at risk of losing next turn. We take this, though. It's fine. We clear the left flank, which is good. He blocks the sparrow. So I'm taking three at this stage, which kills me. So I need to play pack rat pretty much, or I lose. I have only four cards. I think I have to actually play my pliers, sadly. I could trade two here, which is... Oh, actually, I trade three, right? I'm getting three back. So I go to plus one, and then I trade three the other way. Okay, so we're actually fine. I don't need the tooth. I almost forgot that my wolf attacks, which is silly of me. So I take the squirrel here. Right, we take squirrel. I play pack rat out of this. I swing five here, which I think is really good. Yes, we get the hourglass. Oh, that's really strong, actually. We swing five, which is a real strong play. Let's see, they take three. I would like to draw Mantis God here, huh? Little interesting. He's swinging three into me. I would like to keep. Yeah, I need to keep Pack Rat alive here, so. I sadly cannot play Man Alpha. I get a really strong turn next turn if I play this correctly, so I think I don't die. We trade on the Skunk. I do two. He deals three back. I go to minus two here, and he's blocked, which is good. Yes, this is fine. We trade down a bit. He's blocked. Now, he can't get that Porcupine in, which matters. I play the Squirrel. This matters. Squirrel comes in. I play Squirrel over here. I play Mantis God on the right. I know it looks strange, but it's because I get to play Alpha here, which swings everything around in my favor. This should puncture everything, kills Porcupine, kills that dude, turns around a lot of stats. We trade one, and then I think we transform Omega and win. Yeah, we win. Go team, and I even got my item back, so really well played. Yeah. That's a lot of damage on that turn. Good, cool. We've managed the elites pretty well, which is good to see. I would like the versatility of picking my card here, I think. Taking the species or the tribe is not necessarily good. There's no tribe I'm hunting on this run. In fact, I would rather just see more cards. We go left. Cool. Wolf. Ah, Grizzly. Yeah, I want this payout. We take second Grizzly here. Excellent. I get a card remove, which I think is always stowed, right? Right, you just sacrifice something. Now, okay, this is a sacrifice. So if I sacrifice Black Goat, I get eight bones at the beginning of everything. But really, this is a card removal, and I should treat it as such. Stoat is a fine early game play, but I would like to not have it. We sacrifice Stoat. Sorry, bud. I think this is a minor bonus. Yeah, it's a minor boon. It's fine. I think we have the power to get through the miner here. We should, anyway. We kept our smoke as well. I guess it's the prospector, not the miner. You know what I meant. 
I think for one bone appreciated. Okay, so remember, he converts my stuff to gold. I need to kill the pack mule. I can defend for quite some time on a mole man turn one. I will need to commit something here, though, is the thing. Smoke is good. Having smoke here lets me play alpha. We're going to just play a little defensively for the first couple turns. I'm going to tank the cub a bit. I will draw... Mantis God is really good. It lets me hit the wolf here and stop the coyote. I think I can win on committing Mole Man and Mantis God only. And it's not too fast either, is the thing. So it's Smoke, Mantis God here. We play it on that spot to kill the coyote. Go plus two here. Good, so I trade one, I go plus three, and we draw resources. Akrat, it's fine. I can make him skip a turn too, which is really good. We just hold on resources here, and we leave a slot open. Good. Now, I think I do win on this turn, unless I sacrifice the Mantis God, and I need to delay a bit. So I think I do sacrifice him. Wolf, fine. Right, it's fine. If I commit the wolf, I need two here to win is the thing. And I still have the mole man. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna bullfrog onto pack mule here and we're gonna be okay with it i'll just trade a little stronger into this round he blocks the wolf good i want to keep drawing second wolf i'd like to see my i'd like to see my black sheep we take the plus one here oh actually the mole straight blocks here which is excellent otter I don't need to do this yet. I actually want the wolf cub to hit me. I'll play otter into it. Yeah, we'll just kind of play chill. It's actually okay. Draw alpha is live if I choose to take this round. It's interesting. I can still take this round right now. I haven't hit what I want yet though. Yeah. You don't want to wait too long, but I do have a lot of squirrels I can draw through. So I think I do need to stop the cub here. And to do that, I think I play the river otter. And I sack the mole man here. He did his job. Good. We trade a little bit there. This trades two down, which is excellent. Gives me a little more time. Give me my black thing. Black sheep, black goat. I think it's the goat. I trade down a bit here. We're going to swing around if I don't commit something here, is the thing. We're at plus one. Alpha is a big commit, though. I'd like to not do that. I think we're fine to take this trade, right? Yeah, he kills that. Take two. We're going to even. All right. Goat comes in. He's the last card here. So the play is... I think I do need to commit alpha here. Yes. So last card here is the goat, for sure. So I'll take the squirrel here, and we will play alpha, which should kill wolf and do some damage to Pack Mule. It should bounce off. Ah, math wrong. Okay, so that's actually wrong play, huh? Right, so I actually take three from this and I lose Alpha. 
It'll do. Not ideal, right? Because it, it moves here and then gets punched by Coyote is the problem. Yeah, that was not a good play. That was a mistake on my part. I need to commit my wolf is basically what it comes down to here. So we do squirrel, squirrel. I play wolf. We take out their wolf. Fine, I go minus one. Trade two on this. Yeah, we're fine. Cool, we take two. The pack mule moves over. I go minus two. Trade minus two. We take plus one. We're okay. I need to end this now, is the, the thing. Although I do get the pack mule out of this, which is pretty good. I get a trade one down here, it looks like. We don't die. I could just throw a squirrel in front of it, but I don't want to. We do not die here. I need to do the math on this. Otter hits. We go to... Let's see. We're at minus three. We go to minus two. He swings Coyote. We go to minus four. And then we turn it around very fast. There's no reason not to take the squirrel and just send it here, right? I don't need this. It gets killed. Yeah, that's actually... Why am I holding off? All right, we get the mule... Good value. Nag nab at your mule. He kills the coyote. We take the round. We have black goat. We deal four. It's tricky because I'd like to move this a little faster, but the misplay on... We don't have a lot of cards left. I think that's four rounds. We should still trade this, I think. Yeah, I play the squirrel, it's fine. We go to plus four, he trades on coyote. I may get punished here for waiting, but we'll see. We take this round, okay. A little stally, I may get punished a bit. I wanna avoid starvation. He pops these. It's a little annoying. Gold, you've struck gold. I now need to send it. Send it, send it, send it. Yeah, it's just squirrel. And I don't want to actually play black goat right now, which is kind of funny. Because the Bloodhound is in the way. I would have nowhere to put my Grizzlies. Interesting. So I actually think I may have misplayed this whole combat. Right? I need him to kill... I need him to open up this Gold Nugget slot, is the thing. Yeah. So this wastes a turn, unfortunately. Good, okay. It wastes a turn, but now I can actually do what I wanted to do, which is... Squirrel... Black Goat... I can just play the regular Black Goat, actually, right? It's fine. And we play Big Grizzly off of this. We swing this around very fast, and I can play the Rattler here for three, and we spike hard. All right, we actually are fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. Slight misplays, but we're okay. We have plenty of squirrels left. Yeah, it's over. All right, cool. A lot of teeth. The stalling turned out to have been okay. I had plenty of squirrels left over. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. Good run, good run so far. Show me a rare. What you got for me? Amoeba, hell no. Mantis God, Mole Man. Mole Man is just fine. I have to take one of these. So what do you take here? Mantis God's okay, but he wants to be infused into something. I think it might be second Mole Man. 
Really good defensive card. It's very cheap. Buys turns to find your cards. Yeah, I like it. We'll do it. All right, and then we get the Angler as the last boss, I imagine. Yep, looks like it. Okay, Wetlands. Let's see what we have. I get a card here, potentially. And a fusion. What would I fuse? Interesting choices. Interesting. Oh, I could do a Mantis God Grizzly. Yeah, that's pretty darn good, huh? Oh, yeah, we go Mantis God Grizzly here. That's excellent line. All right. What you got? Verdict is... Three sigils? Possible. One of our cards does have two sigils as well, which is important to note. At least four attack combined? Pretty likely. Although the double mole man does hurt, but a single grizzly wins? I think that one might be the doable one. Two of kin. I don't have very many kin, actually. We don't have tribes. It'd be the two, the three wolves, essentially, is the only option. Okay, we'll take the attack and hope for the best. Trial of power, one. Ah, uh, grizzly drawn. Very good. We pass. Cool. Let's see what we get. Is that a dam builder elk? An insta-kill bat? It's, the insta-kill bat is terrible because he doesn't hit enemies. This is a bell ringer, but it moves. <laughs> so it leaves the bell. I'll take the elk, I suppose. It's fine. You have to take something here. The elk is... I guess it's good for stalling. It's fine, I suppose. Weird. We go for the fusion here. I want Mantis God Bear. Make sure we do it correctly. Mantis God sacrificed into Grizzly. Absolutely. We are bear mode. Ooh, buddy, that's good. Okay, and now I just need to play the bears and you win, basically. That's where our run is at right now. This is a stinky bird, which is a kind of annoying. These combats should be pretty threatening. Yeah, these are kingfishers, of course. Not surprised. The turn one black goat is busted. Yeah. I mean, they're flying, so they swing into me directly so I can just tank with Mr. Black Goat. Do I fish for another relic? I could take the tooth. I'm going to fish for another item, actually, with the pack rat. Right, we use the tooth here. No problem. Yikes. Feels bad. I do black goat into pack rat. What did I get out of this? Immediately gain four bones. It's fine. And then we just kind of end this by playing this or grizzly, and we swing a ton here. Cool. Actually a free combat with that insane draw order and that's why consistency matters, right? <laughs> and that's also why the game doesn't let you have consistency Cockroach it's terrible sparrow Gross do I want another river otter not really I don't want cockroach either. I Suppose it's sparrow. It's a one two for one it flies Better than a river otter. I'd like it to be able to die Although, I guess I could sacrifice the otter, right? These are all inconsequential. If I could skip this, I would, but you can't. That's the trick about the game. I would want something that could... I mean, the Sparrow can't really defend. Oh, no, it can. It can, of course. It's fine. I'll take the Sparrow here. We're good. Move on. It's an item. I don't want another pack rat. But I guess we get one. I should have maybe not played the pack rat then. I could remove on the mycologist, actually, right? That's a lot of cards I just picked up, yeah. That's a shame. You could fuse two pack rats together to make a 4-4. Four, four. It's pretty good. I want to keep the grizzlies separate for density purposes. The wolves are good, too. We're going to go for the mycologist here. I am forced to draft again, but 
I think it's fine. Another elite. This is Thinky Snake. Okay. Let's see. Rattler. Oh, a spawning in Rattler is really bad. We're going to play the Squirrel and get Mr. Black Goat moving. I'll take the... I need to stop that three coming in though, right? I do. Just tank this hit. And at this stage, I just need to draw out of my pack. Mole Man. Not great. In fact, the Black Goat dies from this, huh? So I'm going to skip my opponent's next turn. Yeah, that's worthwhile. Obligated to pass. Draw something here. Pack rat. Glad to see it. This lets me kill the rattler and get a fan. It's fine. We give up the goat on this turn now. Sadly. Adders are really annoying here. Ugh, I can play. This is a very difficult combat. I have one, two, three, four, five bones. So what we do is we take a squirrel here. We put the squirrel on the adder and we play the alpha. Oh, but they're stinky. Oh, no. Oh, we're definitely... We're definitely taking it here. Ugh. That is a throw. Yeah, we're losing it here. For sure. I have no tools. Yeah, I mean, just take me away. Yep, that's one candle down. Man, stinky snakes with those spawns. It's going to cost me my smoke. Ugh, gross. Not happy about that. We will... Move on. I want the mycologist still. It is valuable. I'm forced to draft again. Fecundity is a really strong play. If I can put that into something like Mole Man. We'll take the field mice. Especially if I have the black goat on the field. This is big. Yeah, that's good. It's a power play. What do I have coming up? Removal? Removal is valuable. I have no pelts, though, so that's a worthless take. I might go to the fire instead. We'll see. Okay. All right, mycologists. Yes. Great job. Go team. Yes, I know how it works. Thank you. It is always the pack rats here, I'm pretty confident. I don't need two of them. In fact, they slow me down quite a bit. Making them a 4-4 is really strong as well. Yeah, that's actually a really good unit now. It's like a wolf, basically. That gives me an item. Okay. I need to not lose on this combat, basically. And I would like to play my pack rat. This rattler on the left is annoying. Let's see. Squirrel. I can't play anything. It's all expensive. So we pass. I take one. Not great. It's not great, champ. The elk comes in and clears the left side, though, which I do like. Oh, and it puts down a, a dam. That's right. It puts down a dam. That's strange. I do want to clear the left side, though, so we actually do play it on the left, regardless. Elk comes in. Cleans the left side. We get a dam in a weird spot. I trade two. All right, fair enough. It's okay, at least it. we get this two back. We're not out yet. How many bones do I have? Four. So I take a squirrel here. It's 
It's unfortunate is this dam wasn't in a better location, right? Or at least our gek, our elk takes the hit from the rattler and kills it. What is the play here? Squirrel tanks a one. Is that worth it? I mean, it dying is actually really good because it powers on alpha and alpha can kill the adder. So we take the squirrel and I trade it on the adder here for the bone. We take two hits here. We go to minus one. The elk carries the left side again because snakes are fragile. Yeah, elk tramples the whole left side. We now can play alpha. Yes. So I'm interested in a squirrel because I can play squirrel on right. Alpha here. It cleans the adder, dies, but it powers up the frog a bit. Alternatively, this turn means I could play Grizzly right now. I'd have to play it on the left side, which is not good enough, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it would be good enough, actually. True. This might have been better if I had played... Interesting. Oh, I should have played the damn Grizzly. It was the... Oh my god, I'm absolutely throwing at this game. What a terrible first episode. I mean, I lose from that position, right? I threw. We trade two. We lose our elk here. And then what? Nothing. I could save the left side, but... No, I really should have played that stupid bear. Why did I not? Yeah, true, true, true. It's a real shame. My items don't necessarily help either at this stage. Bullfrog is interesting. Bullfrog trades on the adder, I suppose. The question is, do I value the one HP? I might be able to recover this. I've misplayed a bunch. I even had the grizzly, and it was the really good one, too. I just didn't think to look down and see his ability. I thought it was the flying one at first. So, okay. Gek Gek comes in. This middle Gek doesn't do anything. We're trading two for two right now. I stay at minus two overall. Or I can trade, keep a unit alive and not fall behind here. I think I need to keep this unit alive and I need to do take one hit here. Actually, I trade two, right? It's true. I trade two if I do this because I kill the adder. The get comes in, hits, bullfrog hits. So I kill the adder, but I get two damage taken. I think this is correct to leave it as is. Oof, that's a bad turn. I mean, we lose, guaranteed here. Right, there's just no universe where I somehow pull this off. I have to leave the left Gek intact. And I take the bullfrog on the adder because I cannot let the coyote come through. I take two here. I go to minus one, minus four. True. It's tough. I have to high roll. No, we lose. Right? Nothing I do wins here. Yeah, I've lost. I threw this. I had the win and Grizzly. I had to play the stupid Grizzly and I was done with this. Okay, so interesting. Definitely a little trickier without all of the lines here. 
I don't think I can restart or anything, and I'm not going to anyway. This is a learning lesson. It's been a while since I've played this game, so I've made a crucial mistake, as it were. And I got nothing. My units attack as if they're flying. Does nothing. Gain bones. Does nothing. Alright, take me away, man. Take me away. Alright, fair enough. Alright, I get claimed. Big loss. It is time for me to perish. Okay, so interesting. An interesting loss here. Get some stuff. See the end screen. And I think this takes me back to the beginning. Sure does. All right, fair enough. Misplays 12. It identifies my misplays. I wonder... I wonder what it counts. Interesting. Huh, fun. All right, well, that's everything for this run. I will... A little shameful to leave it in this state, but uh, take a loss on the first go. But it has been a while since I've played the game. So definitely made some tactical and strategic errors along the way. I threw a lot in these areas. Yeah, I, I, should, I should have saved items early on. I should have saved the some other combats. I should have obviously not lost the one I lost at the end there. That was stupid. I had... I had the playable bear, and I was thinking, eh, no, how, the playable bear is bad, but it was the triple attacking mantis god bear, so really dumb of me. A big throw. Anyway, hopefully you don't hate me too much, and I will put this video up regardless. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you hated my bad play. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see me maybe do better, and... Yeah, have a good one. Stay tuned for what's next. Bye, folks.